What is up guys, my name is Pocketcraft and welcome back to the Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival Guide. So I was AFK in the kelp farm because I needed some fuel sources overnight. And it must happen overnight, but sometimes when there's a thunderstorm, um, the four horsemen will appear and you will see four skeletons riding skeleton horses. And now if you kill these skeletons, you can take their horse and you can ride a skeleton horse. And to tame a skeleton horse, you don't have to have a saddle and you don't have to put anything special on them. And so you get basically a free horse. And so this is pretty awesome. And this is the way that you can get a skeleton horse in Minecraft. Have you guys ever seen that? Oh, I killed the horse, dang it. You gotta be really careful with your shots because this is the only way to get a skeleton horse. And so you really don't wanna, oh, I accidentally hit that guy. You really don't wanna hit the horse because like I said, you can only get these from here. And so these are pretty rare. And so I'm going to go and put these guys in a special pen. And so I was planning on doing some stuff in the nether today. But now that we have these skeleton horses, I think we need to do a project that has actually been delayed quite a bit. I was going to build a stable a long time ago in this world. And so I think now that we have these free skeleton horses, we might as well do that. And so... I'm going to go gather all the other skeleton horses. I'll put them in this pen right now just to be safe. And then I'll bring you guys back and we'll talk about how to build a stable. So I'm thinking of using a fairly simple design for a stable. All I really want it for is for now is just to hold horses and llamas. So it doesn't need to be super big. And I think I'm trying to think about like things that are most important for a stable, right? And so if we're actually going to use horses, they need to be somewhat nearby. Because if we want to go somewhere quickly, we don't have to want to have to go somewhere far to be able to go somewhere quickly, right? Did not mean to place that. And so I think a good open spot for it is just right over here, it would probably be the best spot that I have right now. And it's pretty close to everything, and so I think it's a good spot. And I'm thinking that we wanna go with the same kind of design that I have over here, where we're using basically oak logs and some birch um, things for the roof. And I think it'll be pretty easy. Stables you can make it more complicated, but I'm going to go for probably a pretty simple design where it's mostly just an open air thing. Pretty similar to my storage system, actually, is what I'm thinking. And then we'll have areas inside, obviously, for the animals. So I'm going to start making a quick outline, and then I'll bring you guys back and we can talk some more. So we've got a bit of an outline here, and I'm going to be honest. I went in a way different direction than I was expecting. I don't even know how it happened. Originally, I was just going to have basically the exact design in there with my um, storage unit there but just have fences here but then i decided maybe a wall would look cool just like one wall but then i built them all the way up and so now it's become like its own building which is all right with me and then i'll have fences in here where we can bring in the horses on one side and llamas on the other I'm not entirely sure how i feel about it yet but i think it's good i need more buildings around here anyways that's one thing i've been lacking in this world i realized is i've been doing a lot of farms to show you guys stuff but I've hardly built like anything. And so that's one thing I'm gonna start doing more of is trying to build some things while I teach you guys things. But so this isn't really your normal maybe design of a stable, but it's the one I'm gonna use. And you can use similar principles for yours. You could do it differently if you want. But I'm gonna show you a couple different things about housing llamas and horses and what they do. And so we'll be talking a lot about horses in general, and hopefully I'll be able to go get Shadow Facts back at some point. If, for those of you who have been around the series for a while, that was my early game horse that I used before I got Elytra. But I'm honestly not entirely sure where he is. He might be by the Stronghold or somewhere else, I'm not really sure. And so I'm going to finish this build, and then I'll bring you guys back and we can talk about all sorts of other things. So this is what it looks like right now. I'm going to do some decoration inside probably a little bit. It doesn't look too great. I'm honestly not very happy with it, but that's all right. Building isn't my strong suit, and I do need to work on that. But a stable is mainly just for the purpose of putting stuff there. But I wanted to show you guys something with llamas. If you put one llama on a leash, the others will follow. And I didn't realize that there was a wandering trader there. That actually will mess it up, so I'll just get rid of him real quick. Um, but now... And that llama's probably a little mad at me, which isn't great. Oh, they're mad at each other. Huh. I forgot llamas can fight each other. But it looks like he chilled down. Okay, cool. So llamas, if you have one on a leash, 
they'll do a caravan and the other one will follow and you can have up to like five llamas like this i think i forget how many but you can also put chests in llamas you can attach a chest and have it hold things and so they are a great way to move a lot of things quickly if you don't have shulker boxes and even if you have shulker boxes it's a fun way to move them across land and stuff and so that's a great option and so i'm going to definitely have some llamas here on hand in case we ever end up needing to do that and so i should probably put some carpet on here if i'm being honest so i can get in and out easier i will do that but that's the cool thing about llamas so i will bring you guys back in a little bit i'm going to go look for shadow facts see if i can find him anywhere and then if i can't or if I can, either way, I'm going to bring you guys back here and show you some decoration things that we should do. I found him right over here by the mob farm, which is awesome because I was worried he was going to be a lot farther. I've missed this guy. He is a good horse. And for some reason, I can't unleash. There we go. So I'm going to go bring him back home. And then I'll bring you guys back and we can talk a little bit more about some other stuff. All right. So I didn't do a whole lot of decorating because this is such a small room. If I put any hay bales or anything over here... There is a chance that they could get out. And so I might do some further decorating later, but I have some chests in here filled with useful things, hay bales and leads and other things to feed them with, as well as saddles and stuff. And now in the next episode, keep you guys' eyes out. I'm gonna be going over all the animals in the game and how to breed them and do things like that. And so it's definitely something to look forward to. We'll come back to here and do some more stuff. And I think I'd like to make an entire zoo at some point in this series. Now, that's going to be a very large project, so it probably won't happen for a little bit, but that's something I'd like to do eventually. But that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel if you're new. But I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in that next video.